Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, today, I'm gonna be cleaning my EGR. Um, I got a check engine light on the way home today saying the uh, EGR was clogged. So I'm gonna order a uh, delete kit finally. I've been wanting to for a long time, but I mean, kind of building the barn and all that. Haven't had time, um, or the money I should say, but uh, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and order it. And it does have like a two week wait time. So it'll be a little bit till I get it. So uh, I'm just gonna clean the uh, EGR today and show you guys how to do that. So let's get right into it. Um, the EGR is right here. So that's what I'll be taking off. oily in there i'm gonna clean that down too oh if you can see all that all right so now i can get to the egr i just need to get to this bolt i think i think that's the last one i'm probably wrong Right there it is it is dirty for sure unfortunately this is kind of a last minute thing so i didn't have time to order any gaskets but i need my car good to go for uh, the work week but so there's that and i'll show you guys me cleaning it all out here in just a second All right, so I'm gonna start just by using these picks and stuff and kind of scraping all the big stuff off. And then I'll go through. I have some of this intake uh, valve cleaner left over from the GTI video. So I'm gonna use that and then just some regular brake clean to help clean all that out. And hopefully it works pretty good. All right, well, that's all that came out just from uh, scraping. So now I'm gonna spray it with the, some cleaner and scrub at it and go from there. All right, guys, I just cleaned it out the best I could. And I'm not trying to spend forever on it, but as you can see, that's way better. And that's way better. Way cleaner, should be good to go. I'm just gonna wipe this down real quick, kind of spray it out. Uh, it's a little oily, um, but it's not terrible, so. All right, there's that cleaned up a little bit. Uh, didn't really go crazy on that, but it should be all right for now. All right, so I kind of put some oil on that gasket and uh, put it back in. So now I'm just gonna kind of throw everything back on and hopefully it's good. All right, a little side note for you guys. Um, I have a lot of like 
it's like oil used up motor oil up here on top of the valve cover um and it's been a minute since i changed the oil like it it's not like i spilled it up here and it's all black so it's you know old if anybody could like point me in a direction of that how to fix that it's pretty concerning um, i'd appreciate it Alright guys, well I just finished uh, putting everything back on. Um, so I guess I can kind of do a little overview now of what I did. So I started off, uh, undid the EGR tube. And that is a triple square. And I'll go over all the tools I used just a second. So that was a triple square. Had to do on, uh, there's this one. And this one, those are both Torx. And then there's a Torx here, a Torx back here. Then there's a Torx back under here. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to get a view of it. But anyway, there's one like right over here. And then I took the the bolt off of this dipstick holder. Undid this hose clamp, kind of pushed it out of the way. There's a plug right here. Unplug it. Plug down there uh, for this. Unplug that. And then take this little Torx out and you're good to go. That's, that's really it. So the tools I used... Um, Looks like I used the M10 triple square, um, a T30. I use this long one. Uh, I think you will need one of these longer ones. I also had a short one and I could only use it in certain spots. Um, 10 mil wrench to get that nut off of the dipstick. Uh, ratchet, a little extension, obviously. I also used my uh, electric ratchet, but you know, you don't have to have one of those, obviously. And then screwdriver, picks, uh, wire brush, and then brake clean or that intake valve cleaner. That stuff works really good, especially if you let it sit for a minute. It kind of eats everything off. It, it's a lifesaver. Now I got a light. Didn't really use it, but I had it just in case. All right, well, that's how to clean an EGR on a 2011 TDI. Um, I wish my shop had power. I would have done it down there, but I'm just still using the garage. But... uh. Yeah, so I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, should have a video coming out soon whenever I get that delete kit. Within a month or so, hopefully. Uh, we'll see, obviously. But uh, anyways, take it easy. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.